YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to another episode of Rival Stars. Just a reminder, guys, to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Both of those things really do help out a lot. I decided until I decide to change my mind or people say they don't want this content on this channel anymore, I'm going to continue to play this on this channel because I've really been enjoying this game. Our foal is almost here, guys. Snowbell is almost here. Hour, like hour and 36 minutes till she's ready to race. Obviously, I'll, you know, cut edit um, this recording, so... You guys won't have to wait the full hour, but this video is going to be long. But like I said, I'm not going to just sit here and do nothing for an hour. So, Snow Bell, she's going to be ready to go in an hour and 35 minutes for her maiden, her debut maiden race. Now, we have to clear a stall for her. So, unfortunately, that means I got to get rid of one of my horses. Now, I kind of have an idea of who I want to get rid of. Sensational Samurai, I want to keep him. Tsunami Samurai, he's our best stud. Um, Majestic Beauty, I'm not sure if I want to get rid of her. Arrow Beauty, um, I think Arrow Beauty is actually a really solid level 1 horse, so Triple Torpedo is really cool, Snow Beauty I don't want to get rid of just yet, and Admiral Samurai, um, Admiral Samurai I don't think is phenomenal as far as a grade 2 horse is concerned, because his rating, 73, 72, 74, and I'm pretty sure Sensational Samurai, who's our other level 2, he's like a... 74, 76, 74. So Admiral Samurai is not that good. Um, but I, I don't want to get rid of any of my horses. But we got to make space for Snowbell. And um, he hasn't done much, really. And there's his pedigree right there. I don't even know when I got him or if I bred for him. Stats aren't terrible, but like I said, compared to our other grade two. Um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and get rid of Admiral Samurai. Good luck, my friend. Hopefully you go to somebody who is, is caring is good for you. And of course, in the desktop version, you can actually create horses that others can also uh, obtain. Obviously in this game, you can't. So, our full stall is ready. Or our stall is ready for Snowbell. Your foal will mature with the following stat bonus because of the hired caretaker. So we can go ahead and skip to her being a mare right now. And you know what? I've been waiting for this literally all day. So why not? Let's go ahead and do it. Snowbell as a mare, fully grown. Look at her, man. And her stats, 55 speed, sprint energy 53, and acceleration is 53. I think those are supposed to be pluses if I'm not. I think it's supposed to be 56 speed, 55 sprint, and 55 acceleration. I could be wrong. But look at our new mare, Snowbell. She is fully grown. I can see both her mother and her father in her. I really can. I really, really, really can. So, you see, her mother's literally right next to her. So, let's look at her mother. You see her mother. Okay, she's got the white stripe, or the predominantly white stripe, kind of on the back of her right leg. And then we look at her daughter, Snowbell. Obviously, she has a little bit of a darker um, question to her because of her father. But um, I am excited. I am excited to use her. You see her pedigree. And her grandmother, Android Beauty, who was our highest earning horse. But I'll show you guys Android Beauty. She's the one I race with the most. This is Android Beauty. This is the mother of Snow Beauty, who is this horse right here, who just gave birth to her now fully grown mare, or at least matured, Snow Bell. And we're going to race her in this episode. Now, skills, um, I want her to gain XP quickly. So we'll go ahead and uh, give her the quick learner skill right there so she can get her XP points quickly. And we'll customize her as well. I'm really excited for this. Um, we will be breeding other foals eventually. Like I still got to do my research that I have not gotten to yet. But I am excited to race her. We're about to have her in our maiden. And I'll have to put her in the spreadsheet. Collect. I don't if I don't know if I need to train her now. I don't think I have to train her now. I think we can run her in a maiden, in her maiden, uh, basically in the first race. But let's go ahead and go to customization. That is our stud stallion, Tsunami Samurai. But let's go to Snowbell. Where's she at? Where is my newborn? There she is, Snowbell. She is a beauty, man. Now, I got plenty of money. Now, I'm trying to decide what I want to do as far as saddle is concerned. I do like the saddles. I actually have the numbers on them in the races. Like I said, those are personally some of my favorites. We're going to go ahead and look at the different saddles. 
Um, I don't usually like spending too much on a saddle either, which is why I typically go. I stick with the um, default one. Because none of these saddles right now are really catching my fancy. They're, I mean, not worth the, uh, the 50000 They're a little costly. Until I get much more money, I'll just keep her with a traditional saddle. As far as her saddle pad is concerned, could give her the blue. But I'm not sure if I want to do that. What else could I do that's cost efficient? Got the yellow here. I've used that on a couple of horses. We got this yellow and red kind of um, rectangular diamond shaped one, which is cool. The pink one. We kind of got this uh, Pioneer, or it says Pioneer Red, excuse me. Looks pink. Um, we got this one, which is uh, Malibu Dusk. We got this one, which is, which is Azure Temple. Um, I'm not sure which one to put on her. I'm really not. I'm not sure which saddle I want to put on her. Um, I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know what suits her. Like I said, I kind of like keeping the numbers there. Um, Snowbell. Something... Kind of like a baby bluish would be really nice, I think. Here's this waterfront color. Kind of looks like a kitchen cloth, kitchen table cloth. <laughs> um, I might stick her with the Azura Tempo. It's 50, I oh know it's free actually. Here's purple, Indigo Haste. I actually don't have a purple saddle for any of my horses. I may go ahead and do purple. And it's only 30,000, so you know what? We're go we'll go ahead and buy this, it's different. I, I haven't actually had a horse with a purple saddle pad at all. So blinkers, I think we should get her with blinkers. think we should. I don't know which one, though. I've used that before. I had that on a horse. I cut the purple. The indigo haste all around. I think it's really cool. I gotta admit, this pastel palace also looks pretty cool, man. That's a pretty cool mask. And then we got this kind of um, pioneer red, which I think I have already. Uh, I've used the, crim the crimson hearts. And everything else, unfortunately, is a little too costly for me currently. But, I gotta be honest, I'm kind of feeling the purple on purple. The indigo haste, basically. I think we might go do the indigo haste. So, you know, we'll go ahead and buy this. It's only 25 grand. And then as far as the bridal is concerned, might get her with the white reins. I don't know. The white? Well, I'm not sure. Indecisive. Indecisiveness in horse racing games. Or give her something a little bit unique. Actually, I like the all black. Pioneer red? Huh. Some, it's, I don't know. I literally don't know. I need to live stream one of these days so you guys can actually help me. Um, I kind of like the all black, to be honest. Let's see. I do like the all black. The white kind of is nice to go with her, um, her spots. So you're either going to do the white or the all black. Or what about this Lavender Tempo? It's another 25 G's. You know what? She's our first foal. Let's go all out. So let's go ahead and look at a picture here. Of Snow Bell. Let's see. This is obviously how she looks. Without. Um, her racing attire on. This is her with the racing attire. So we got her decked out in the indigo. I kind of like it. I like it, man. I like it. I think it suits her and her name. So let's see how she would actually look in the infield. We're going to change our jockey threads now, too. I like it, man. For Snowbell, I, just, I, I think it fits her. I really do. I genuinely think the look fits her greatly. And she resembles her grandmother quite a bit. She resembles her mother and her grandmother both, but I really think she kind of resembles her grandmother Android Beauty. So we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and uh, say this as a screenshot here, and probably use this for a thumbnail. But we're gonna go ahead and change our jockey threads, and we're gonna get her into her maiden debut race here. I'm really excited for this. Um, look like payouts right now. Five out of ten. So we'll collect this. Come back. Jockey threads. I'm gonna stick with my channel colors. I've totally neglected to do my jockey threads based off of my channel colors, and I knew that's what I wanted to do. I've just always forgotten. But unfortunately, in this game, you can't exactly choose the the exact color combination. My channel colors is like pink, greenish. It's like neon, green, orange, and pink. Basically, we have the green here. Then there's red. And then there's like that kind of you know, is that a turquoise blue? I'm not sure. So. Finding my actual channel colors is kind of difficult. 
closest thing would probably just be this default pink and black. Um, you got the pink and the blue here. If this was if this was like a neon green instead of the blue, that would be perfect. You got this, the white, green, and black. That's kind of meh. You got this, and you got this. I may go ahead and um, do this, to be honest. I think I actually used to do the predominantly black with the pink hearts. But I think we'll go ahead and just do the black and the pink with the white hearts like this. Because, is there different... I forgot, do the color combinations change at all? Or they all typically look the same? Oh, I forgot. Some of them do have predominant. See, I, I want, like, green with, like, pink. Green with pink would be awesome, man. Really, 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 really would. That's what I was trying to say. But they just don't have it. I'm surprised there, there has to, this has to be something they're working on at some point. Where we can actually customize the colors of ourselves. So that, that, that should be an option at this point. Really should. Um, yeah. I want my pink and my green. Have I done orange? Uh, I don't really like the, the orange color combinations, though. You know, the orange and the blue is something I actually used to do a lot when I used to play the um, Gallup Racer games back in the day, but I don't just want orange by itself, so I think I'm going to stick with the pink, personally. Pink with the stars. As far as the helmet is concerned, uh, go for the whole... Actually, helmet? We can go um, pink silks with the uh, green helmet, perhaps. Or orange helmet. Orange helmet or the green one? So I should do the green. We'll do that. Change our silks. All right, let's get let's get her into our first race, Snowbell. So we will go to Three Oaks, race number one. Where is my baby, Snowbell? There she is. Okay. Oh wow, she's completely gonna blow this field out of the water. You know what? Do we get her? Let's see. Can she do race two? Still the heavy favorite, huh? We're capped. Um, let's see. Let's see, which one, which of these can she do? I feel like she can do all of them. She's a really solid level six horse for starter stats. Our second favorite here in this race. We can do this one, which has her still favored. Let's look at the field. A little bit higher competition. Um,. Prize money isn't that much different. Uh, rewards are pretty much all virtually the same as well. So I guess we'll go ahead and do this race three. Why not? Race three here for Snowbell. She'll get um, additional XP. Let's run Snowbell in her debut. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll watch her in the race as well. I'm going to run. I'm going to ride with her this first race. And then we'll go ahead and actually watch her. Uh, have the AI controller in the next one just to kind of see how she looks in action. So 1200 meters here at Three Oaks 1200 meters at Three Oaks. Welcome to the truck So it's a field of I don't even know I didn't check And for some reason my game volume like stops working sometimes I don't know why that's happening. So if that's the case I'll probably just have some light music jazz music in the background as per usual when game audio is being funny and that's really slow but good start here good start for snowbell right out to the front as we should be and she's looking good already i like the indigo haste in actual race form and this is just from me watching it from a jockey perspective i can't wait to actually spectate watching her in action i like i like the indigo haste though and granted if i ever get sick of um the saddle pad color and i actually want the numbers on there we can always go back to the numbers but i like the indigo i like the I like kind of that lavender purplish look, man. I really do. I like it for her and her name. I just think it gives her... I want my horses to have their own personalities, their own unique styles and looks and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Can't help it. I, I grow attached to them. So I like for them all to be special in their own unique ways, you know? Of course, we are looking good. I can't wait to see what her stats are going to be fully maxed, man. And like I said, I still haven't even completely gotten into to breeding again like... I um I know I can as far as getting some really good stat horses. So when I do those live events, I can actually win a couple of them. But yeah, absolutely dominating. We're ahead by about what ten lengths right now. Snowbell and her maiden debut race. Yeah. <laughs> no chance. No freaking chance. Just right out of the water. That is how she runs. 
That is how she runs. Three whole seconds, basically. Easy win. Easy win. Already level two. She's got to get up to level 30 to be maxed out. Uh, I like it. So we're going to go ahead. And um, like I said, we're going to watch her in the race now. We'll, um, we'll probably just have her run in that race again, to be honest. Because if we win it uh, two more times, we will be able to uh, get a bonus reward. Which I'm so glad they started doing that. It's really helpful. So, Snowbell. Um, I'll drop a little bit of money to make sure she's racing on a good jockey. That hopefully won't mess things up. We'll spend eight coins. I'm fine with that. It's my baby, man. It's her second race. She deserves the world. She deserves the world. So now we're going to actually see her in a spectator format. So this is this is gonna be exciting just to see how she looks in running form. Same race, same distance. You guys know the deal, yo. But let's go ahead and run it. Field of eight. Here we go. Not a great start, but her speed and acceleration alone, she should still be able to go right to the front, and she is. Golly. Now she has okay. Everybody else in the field has numbers on, but she still has the other uh, lab in her saddle. Yep. Snowbell rocking and rolling. And eventually, I want to give her more customization as well. But like I said, I wanted the lavender for starters, just to give her something different. Because none of my horses have anything related to purple or lavender as far as their um, their saddle pads or blinkers are concerned. So I wanted to give her something unique as the first fold that I have in this game, honestly. But she is rocking and rolling, man. Snowbell, she is a gal on a mission. 500 meters left to go, leading by about three or four lengths here. They keep cutting to these horses behind us. Can I look at my baby, please? I don't care about the horses behind me that are not going to win. And I love all horses, but still. They care about my baby in the front. I care about her in the front, man. She is, yeah, she's rolling. Here we come around the final turn to the stretch. Look at that lavender, man. It's just something unique, man. Something unique about that. And look at that. Look at Snowbell's spurt, man. With the Lavender Saddle Pad, Lavender Blinker, Lavender Bridle, killing it. That is lovely stuff, man. Lovely stuff. So attached to her already. So attached. Want to see her in action again, maybe at a different race? Um, we'll go ahead and um, we got to do this one more time so we can actually get that uh, reward. We're not going to watch it, though. We're not going to watch it. So we'll go ahead and do this. Skip. And then we'll put her in a different race. Um, so here we'll hire uh, FL Suman or F Suman, whatever. Skip. Win, please. Do not lose on my baby. Okay. Not like I'm going for a perfect winning streak, but there's no excuse to lose. She's literally the best horse in the field. She is literally the best horse in the field. No excuse for her to lose. Good. She wins by two seconds. Fantastic. Level 4 already. XP working well for us. Getting some money. Getting some additional items as well. What do we need? Uh, we'll get some safety equipment because we only got 5 of those. Fantastic. Looking good. So I think we can enter her in um, one more race. And we won't do that right now since I'm recording. Level 4 already. Let's get her in another race. I think I can do some free training with her right now actually. That won't... Um, cost anything so yeah we'll go ahead and do free training with her as much as we can um, so we'll get her speed up to the highest and then we'll put her in one more race it won't be the end of the video by the way there's still a lot more to do but it'll be the end of my current recording session um, I decided I'm probably gonna stop training her mother because like I said I think Snowbell clearly is the best of the level six horses and um, yeah, I, I want to utilize the resource to resources to max her out, basically. So, her mother, I'm just going to leave her where she's at for now. May continue to keep her for future breeding lines until we get other horses. Um, obviously, that will probably be my main goal with her. Use her as a damn, but... Um, yeah, this is Snowbell uh, maxed out. Another screen. Uh, I thought it was going to give me a screenshot there. We can actually do a family screenshot here. Of a Snowbell and her mother and her father. So there's her mother with the green saddle pad and her father. Oh, we can't get the father. I forgot. Only when they're a foal can you get the full family photo. But the father wasn't actually a horse that I had. See, if I use like our stud here, Tsunami Samurai, then I could have gotten a full family photo. 
but it's all good no worries at all no worries we'll get that eventually all right so we're gonna get her in another race her stats now are increased to the level four maximum that we currently have so let's go ahead and find another race um does she race here at Sewell Meadows level six this might be a little bit too high for her let's see no we can still race here wow what's the rest of the field looking like okay might be a little bit tough of competition um, what's your preference? I think her distance is eight. Actually, no. She might be she might be good here. Because she can run 1,800 meters, right? Um, no, 1,600 meters is her distance. Okay. My apologies. So, actually, this race right here would be perfect for her. Surface isn't great, but... Um, that's Snow Beauty. That's her mother. I'm looking for Snow Bell. Golly. Okay, she cannot run at this level yet. Okay, I'm like, wait. Knew I was missing out on something, but I, I got it. Some of you probably like, she's not even there. I know. Okay, she can run here. Let's look at the rest of the field. 54, 53. I know eventually she will not come in first. I just don't want her to lose. I don't know if that's just a prideful thing or what. But, um... Let's see. She can't really do... What about this 1,200 meter race? She might be okay here. Oh, this is the first horse horse they go to, for sure. We'll have her run here, then. No questions asked. No questions asked. And uh, we'll put C. Howard there to um, go ahead and control her. And this is 1,200 meters. We'll watch. Better win. Do not lose on my baby. Do not lose on my baby girl. I refuse. I will not accept it. I will not tolerate it. <laughs> I will not. Okay, so she like 1600 meters on her stats. What was her? Her stats were 55, I think. Was it 55, 53? I think 53. I think those were her base stats. I don't know. I think those were her base stats. I'll, I'll be able to check in a, in a second. Field of eight here. We have gate position number four, and we're off. You know what's interesting? She doesn't get great starts, but the second she gets going just for a couple of steps she's able to pretty much go right to the front so that's good to know at least even if we don't get a great start from her um surface i think she likes does she like very hard or medium i can't recall medium i think we'll go ahead and check afterwards so she's currently sitting outside in second place looking good though good form here good form almost three wide on the turn but still comfortably i think she's still settling in keeping up with the leader though not letting him or her out of her sights still in second place you know it looks like technically we're like in third swinging around there jockeying the pink silks green cap 400 meters left to go she is still up there competing she's not letting the leader out of her sights at all 300 meters left to go i want to see how she does in this final spurt not actually leading in a race 250 meters left to go and here we come here we come. Let's see what Snowbell is able to do. Jockey got her going at the right time, but is she going to get beaten? Nope, she's got enough juice left. Able to completely blow the field apart, win by about seven or eight lengths in the end. I got nervous there. I'm like, no, don't do that. We ended up getting the win. Fantastic. Level five as well. Good stuff. I approve. We can still run her in one more race, and I think I'll actually do this race myself. You guys have gotten to see her in action. And, uh, got to see her in action. Now, what I'm going to do is, can I train or will it take time? Oh, cool. We can do another free training session. And we can do another one. And we can do another one. Where well, I got to get, I got to get a good stud. I think my highest level stud is, highest level stud is only level four. We, we do have to eventually get a level six. That would be nice. Level 6 or level 5, which I'm sure we'll be able to get to eventually. Um, We can go Sewer Meadows, and which one do we do? We can actually do this one. It should be fine. Uh, where is Snowbell? Yep, okay, so, yep, she likes to be in the middle. And track surface medium. So we'll do this. And it should be an easy win. For us with little to no resistance. 
man, it's exciting. It's really, it's such a, it's a fun feeling. Um, you know, having a foal, you know, and then watching her as a foal grow up into a mare, and then racing with her, it's, a, it's really a fun experience. This game gets a lot of credit for that. It gives you that bond and that attachment to your horses, you know, as opposed to other games where you don't even watch them, where they don't even start out as foals, they're just automatically adults, and I understand some of those games are older, but um, it's just something special, man. Like I said, about seeing your, your horse, Colter Philly, as a foal, taking care of them, which you can actually feed them in this game, that's what gives you, that's what gives them their um, boosted stats, basically, so you actually are spending time with them, you're feeding them until they are ready to be fully matured for race day. You know, there's definitely a sense of bond, a sense of, you know, attachment and bonding with that. I really appreciate that, so, of course, we are looking good right now, looking good with Snowbell here. She has not lost a race yet. I kind of want to keep it that way. I kind of do. <laughs> and granted, the records don't even show you how many races they've lost or anything. Um, but if all of her all of her ribbons, all of her you know, earnings on her profile basically say just first place and nothing else, that either lets you know she's won all of her races or she's won some and then she's came below like third or, or worse. But like I said, there's, there's, I don't think there's even any achievement for like just having a horse winning every single race in this, at least in this game. I know in God Racer, obviously there's incentives for that. Maybe I don't know about G1 Jockey, but um, in this game, there's no incentives for just like having a horse win all of all of their races. Yeah, I guess it's just a prideful thing for me. It's really about it, and we can get going right now. See how many lengths we win by. I can't wait till she's maxed out, man. I'm telling you, she is going to be a beast. And just think about the future generations, man. Easy money. Easy money, level 6. Easy money, good XP. So we're hitting two birds with one stone here. Uh, we will bypass on that. Now let's... I want to look at the pedigree line again. Because I want to recall if there was a horse before her grandmother... So as well, actually, I can't do a family photo with um all the ladies. Yeah, father, unfortunately, like I said, he wasn't my horse, so I can't show him in a picture. But I can do one with all of the ladies. So let's go ahead and go to Snowbell, and we'll show you her mother and her grandmother all side by side in one photo. Keep clicking back. Stop doing that, Eric. Here we go. All right, multi horse. So um, they already have her mother in the picture. Let's look for her grandmother, Android Beauty. There she is. So here is all three of the ladies. Android Beauty, her grandmother. Snowbell's grandmother is on the left with the um, peach. I don't know what color that is. It's like an orangish, peachish um, a blinker on. She is a level 25 mare. Obviously, Snowbell, our newest born. The granddaughter is in the middle. She's only level 6 so far. And then her mother, Snowbell's mother, Snow Beauty, is a level 20 mare on the right. That is all the ladies right there. And let's see if we can get a different picture of them oh let's see what pose let's get this one without so as you can see obviously you can see the resemblance you can obviously see the resemblance i didn't actually realize android beauty doesn't have any spots i thought she had spots and she doesn't so snowball's grandmother doesn't have any spots but her complexion and the mother's complexion is about the same only difference is the mother has this i think the mother has a stripe going down the middle of her um middle of her face and then obviously her mother has the spots snowbell is a little bit darker um, because her father was more of kind of, um, I can't remember what the complexion, the exact name of it was. I don't think it was Chestnut, but father was obviously um, a little bit more darker side. And yeah, so this is all, these are all the ladies. Grandmother on the left, mother on the right, granddaughter in the middle. And definitely without Android Beauty, I don't, Snow Bell or Snow Beauty, I don't think would have the potential that they have. That is shout of a doubt. So that's that's just really cool, man. All the ladies and Android Beauty, like I said, is our top earner as a horse. She's probably about to clear six hundred thousand in earnings. She's five hundred and seventy two thousand. Let's look at her pedigree. Uh Android Beauty did come from Sunlight Beauty. Now, Deluxe Beauty? No. Sunny Beauty, I think, was my horse, yeah, because it was maxed out. Frosted Palace. Frosted Place was also my stallion. So I did have a level 5 stallion. I must have sold him because it was like a, uh, a 
a task for like a daily mission or something. So actually, Android Beauty is the result of two horses that I actually own myself. Frosted Palace, who I no longer have, and Sunlight Beauty, who I no longer have. They were both level 5, so... Snowbell's pedigree really comes from this line on her grandmother's side, because I can't even... I don't know if... Can I, can I check her father's pedigree? Let's see. I think I can. So Snowbell's mother is him right here. Code Carnival. And I think he was an average level 5 horse. Let's see. Actually, kind of below average, because... Android Beauty is way better. 125, 127, 126 for Android Beauty. That's Snowbell's grandmother. And Code Carnival, only 120, 123, 123. So no doubt, Snowbell is getting her good genetics from her mother's, her mother and grandmother's side, as it should be. As it should be. So yeah, man, that is the pedigree of her. We're not done with today's episode. Um, you know, I really... I figure you guys know I kind of sometimes record these in parts. I'll record and then I'll stop. I may go to sleep, may do something else and record again, either a couple hours or next day or whatever. I just, you know, put this together as like one full video, one long, longer video. So I'm going to wait. As you can see at the top, my event tickets are only two out of five, so I can't do a live race yet. And my energy is only two out of ten. So I'm going to wait till those get restored back up to full. And that could be by the next morning. So this will just be... A cut edit as usual into the next part whenever I am playing this game again. So do not go anywhere. Make sure to smash the like button right now if you haven't done so already. And uh, this video is going to continue whenever I record next time. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. Welcome back. So this is actually same day I recorded the last part I just took a 30 minute break I went over some stats on my spreadsheet I got all my level 1 stats for all my horses officially down I do want to get up to um, level 13 and there is a uh, current task to breed a horse with a back preference which is my stud on the right uh, Tsunami Samurai as well as sell a horse with a back preference so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do right now I want to try to get a high grade level 2 horse so I will breed my uh, my stud Tsunami Samurai who's a level 4 horse on the right with my level 1 mare Arrow Beauty on the left and that should give us an 83% level 2 horse um, because unfortunately uh, as far as other options my level 2 horse um, or excuse me my level 1 horse Arrow Beauty uh, she's not bad for a level one. Her stats are actually pretty solid. So I think she could help us produce something great. Uh, Tsunami Samurai, as a level four as well, his stats are average. But like I said, um, there's a task to sell him to uh, help us get to level 13, which I'm thinking about doing. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and look at the other studs. So here is uh, Cat Cat. Um, he is a level one. So if we were to breed him and Arrow Beauty, we would get a... We don't know. We could get a level 2 horse at 53% or we could get a level 1 horse at 47% not worth it um, here's a level 5 horse festival sunlight we could get ooh a horse with but you see the whole point of this is to get these the whole point of breeding my horse to not be samurai is to get the missions complete this would give us a higher grade 2 horse or higher level 2 horse but it won't accomplish the uh, the current goals that we have to do. Here's a level six horse, which I'm not a part of Star Club. Otherwise, actually, it is free right now. It is free for the first for the next three days. I could do this, get a level, get a 93% level two horse, and then I could still sell Tsunami Samurai if I'm not mistaken. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Here's another level 2 horse, but I don't have the coins for it, or level 6. Here's another level 6 horse. Now this stats are 57, 56, 56. This is 53, 54, 56. The Cardinal's Crescent, so this is actually a really good level 6 stat horse. And Tsunami Samurai is only level 4. And where's the other level 6? Um, Raindrops Impact. Not a bad level six horse as well, but it has the back preference. Like I said, breeding this horse with their beauty could give us um, could give us a really good level two horse as well as complete the mission. And he's just a cool looking horse, so he may get a really cool looking foal. So let's go ahead, and I'm gonna do this off screen, and I'll be right back with you guys. 
All right, guys. So I have officially joined the Star Riding Club. Just doing the trial for now. Um, I might keep it depending, but I'm definitely gonna do the trial. Collect my rewards, and uh, we're gonna see what we can get. So we got five bonus tickets, five bonus event tickets, three star jockey hires, and 50 gold. Okay, so hopefully that stupid thing won't keep popping up too, because that was getting really annoying. Um, so we can breed level one arrow beauty with level six raindrops impact to get a 93 rated 93 percent level two horse now let me make sure this will actually complete the story mission because it says right here breed or buy a horse with a back position preference and raindrops impact does have a back position preference which as you can see right here position says back um so we will go ahead because what other horses could we get i'm not ready for a level seven that's for sure. Like I said, I want to see what type of level two. I want to see if we can really get an all-star level two horse. So we'll go ahead and breed these two. Arrow Beauty, our level one mare, and then a uh, level six horse, Raindrops Impact, that we're borrowing from the stud farm. It's the first time I've actually used one of these, I think, especially for a uh, membership. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And we should have a really high level, level, really high grade level two horse on the way. She is falling right now. We can skip some videos to get through the falling process. And I figure I could skip or I could save it for another video. Um, and Tsunami Samurai, I think we can sell. Now, does that count as the story mission? Or do I have to wait? You know what? We're going to go ahead and get through this now. Um, I'll probably have to watch these stupid advertisements, which I'm not going to make you guys go through. So I will skip the falling. Um... Should I split it up into another video? I'm so indecisive. I never know what to do. Actually, what I think I'm going to do, uh, just so, because so much has happened in this video, I don't even, I wouldn't even know what to put in the title. Like, Fall Races, or Fall Becomes Mayor Than Races, you know, Breaks Her Maiden, and then also have like, oh, another Fall Born. Like, that's just too much. So I think what actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to end the video right here, and the next video will immediately begin with us seeing our next Fall. Hopefully, we'll be a cult, because right now, I only have two Colts in the entire stable. One of them is only level two, and the other one I'm about to get rid of. So I would like to have another Colt, um, which will be a level two, but still. Just seeing what we can work with as far as those um, that pedigree is concerned would be nice. So I appreciate you guys' love and support. Uh, as always, let me know what you thought of my fit. Well, my mayor, tent no, Philly. Philly, Philly, Philly. She shouldn't be a mayor right now. Why is she a mayor? I forgot. Horses just mature. And then um, they're just automatically mares <laughs> once they reach that age. I keep forgetting this is not Galb Racer or other horse racing games where they actually have ages. And this game, like, they don't really have ages. They become a foal when they're born. And then they instantly become mature to the point where they can um, have foals themselves. I keep forgetting. Anyways, appreciate love and support. Like I said, next episode, we will actually show you guys our next foal here in our stable. Like I said, hopefully we get it colt. And we'll see what the stats are for this level two. And uh, yeah, much love to you guys. Until next time, Horse Racing Gamer signing out. Hope you all have a great and fantastic day. See ya and goodbye.